is not in an amusement park. This is not a haunted house. This is not a movie set. This is the world's greatest themed arcade. Anata no Warehouse in Kawasaki, Japan takes the cake for recreating the infamous Kaum Walled City located in Hong Kong and then putting an arcade inside of it, making it the most dystopian arcade in the world. But like the real Walled City, this is to be erased from history. But before we can discuss that, let's go back to Hong Kong. In the 1800s, when the British took over, there was a small fort that was left to the Chinese citizens. Over years and decades, this area became a smattering of buildings built on top of one another. And in some areas, you could not even see the sun. That's why they called it City of Darkness. Families lived in the City of Darkness. Children played on the roof during the day. Businesses opened up inside of the buildings. However, it was also home to ne'er-do-wells. Dentists without licenses, as well as triads that ran the city at night. By 1990, the population of the walled city had become 50,000 people. And in 1994, the Hong Kong government decided to demolish the walled city. Whoa! Hey, get out of here. Hey. You know, we don't need the... <laughs> if you were to travel to Hong Kong to see the remnants of this walled city, all you would find is a peaceful park. The only remains is a small section that was in the center of the walled city. Here you can see a sculpture of where 50,000 people lived. And if you go into the buildings, you can see a museum of daily life inside. After 1994, the memory of the walled city was lost to time, until 15 years later, in 2009, when Taishiro Hoshino, an artist with a background in Kabuki theater, helped open Anata no Warehouse. A five minute walk from Kawasaki Station grants you a look at the grimy, disgusting facade, and it only gets dirtier as you enter. Though this is just an arcade, its setting seems to come right out of a horror movie. So while you're playing a claw game, trying to catch your pink flamingos, or playing one of their classic retro games, it feels like you're in another world. This whole place is one big corpse. In America, the arcade boom ended in 1983, but this free, historically themed arcade opened in 2009. You see, in Japan, 
arcades or game centers as they're called never really died in america you may have a lot of room in order for people to come over and enjoy a day but in japan space is a commodity and people flock to these game centers as a sense of community and there is more here than just video games they have darts and billiards and also an internet cafe but as stated earlier this place is a corpse in fact by the time you watch this this place will be closed forever on November 17th 2019 Anata No Warehouse closed its doors for the final time. In one's opinion, this is the final nail in the coffin for arcades around the world. If one of the most interesting, well themed arcades must close, I don't see a positive future for places to play video games that aren't in your home or on the phone you're probably watching this on. One positive thing that I can say is that I filmed this footage on one of the last days of operation for this building. And there was a large amount of people enjoying the facilities playing a scavenger hunt game and saying goodbye to Anata No Warehouse. With the closure of this amazing arcade and the destruction of the walled city in Hong Kong, the only way to experience this memory now is through media. Notable examples include the movie Bloodsport and a digital version in the game Shenmue 2. Other than that, the walled city has been lost to time.